Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this very summery, glowy, dewy skin look. Sorry about the lighting guys, I am fighting against the sun, the sun is setting at the moment. I did leave filming a bit late today, sorry. So I hope you guys can kind of bear with me through the lighting. I do share a few tips and tricks on how to get really dewy, glowy skin if you are oily or you suffer with like oily combination skin or even if you have dry skin you can just incorporate a few of your more moisturizing tips in with what I show you to help create a more dewy look and get a nice dewy look, dewy summery look for the summer season. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It is an everyday look so it's so so easy to achieve. The eyeshadow look is so simple yet so effective. It creates such a gorgeous warmth to the eyes and the whole complexion is just so bronze dewy and glowy. So without further ado if you are interested in how I got this summer appropriate everyday makeup look then please keep watching. Hey guys, so first of all I'm going to prime my skin. It's actually looking really good today so it's a perfect day to do some more of a, nat a natural look, less full coverage kind of thing. So I'm going to go in and use my, my Urban Decay Self Adjusting Complexion Primer just to kind of create a really nice even tone base, hide any pores that I have and also kind of tone down any scarring that I have from my breakouts. I just feel like it just kind of puts it all into like a even tone base so like it hides any redness that I have like I said and it definitely tones down any breakouts that I have so do, when I do try to cover them up they're not like so red and vibrant they just kind of tone down. So next I'm going in with a mattifying primer and I'm going to use my usual 100% pure mattifying primer just because it is full of like good stuff for the skin and it helps keep me matte throughout the day. I kind of just like to press this into the skin any places that I feel like I can get oily so just the center of my face really and then to just like really lock my base into like another kind of line of defense to stop my oil seeping through I'm going to get in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder so this won't actually add any coverage to the skin it's just going to help like I said create a barrier for the oils to kind of like stop so that it doesn't seep through and create like a oily texture to your skin it's just going to keep me matte throughout the day and help my makeup last longer. And because we are applying a powder before our liquid products, you want to make sure you're only using a tiny, tiny amount. So I literally just dip it in a little bit on the brush and just wipe it all over the places that I tend to get the most oils. Like that. So I really want to stress to you guys, don't use too much, just a little bit. A little bit will go a long way. So next I'm going to go in, this is going to be like a no foundation kind of makeup look. I did one of these really recently. I think when you guys are watching this I've either done it or I'm doing one soon. But I'm basically just going to use kind of like concealer and things to kind of hide anything that I want to hide. But I am keeping this more of an everyday, very wearable look. So I'm just taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and applying this first of all over any breakouts that I have or basically any kind of scarring that I want to conceal. And I'm also just kind of highlighting under the contour, like my natural contours because I am going to contour a little bit but I just kind of like to highlight under there. Put some on my nose and conceal any of the little imperfections on my forehead. And then using my finger I'm actually just going to pat out the edges just to diffuse them so they're not so harsh. You can use a brush if you want. And I'm kind of just going around the edges not really disturbing any of the concealer sitting on the actual imperfection. And also just where I've placed it under the jawline I'll kind of diffuse it out. I feel like concealer is a bit lighter than foundation so if you're wearing it through the day it's a bit more comfortable rather than having a full face on. And then for the eyes I'm just going to place the same concealer down underneath and bring it down my face a little bit. And I'm also going to prime my lids with this so kind of neutralise them for the eyeshadow which is actually my favourite part of this look, it's the eyeshadow part, so I'm super excited to show you it. 
And to keep the most coverage under the eyes, I'm actually just going to let it sit there. I'm going to blend in the part of my lid first though, but anything kind of under the eyes, I'm going to let it sit while I do my brows. Sorry. Just let it sit while I do my brows, um, so it kind of sets in a little bit. And the most coverage is on the dark kind of circle area. But I will just blend out the edges kind of down my face a little bit. Like so. So for the brows, I think I'm going to keep them really simple and just use like a brow pencil and just kind of fill them in where they need to be filled in, maybe give it a bit of structure underneath. But I usually just leave the tops untouched just because I feel like that looks the most natural, especially with this kind of everyday, very summertime makeup look. You don't want to have heaps of product just sitting there because if you are sweating and things, it is going to move. Like you just want to have less of the best during these hot summer times. So in saying that, I'm going to take my Shady Slim brow pencil from LA Girl in the shade Brunette I believe it is and I am just going to start filling in my brows. Brows are very like personal things guys so if you feel like you, know, you want to do your own thing like this step is by all means up to you. You can do whatever you want with your brows. And then I'm going to take my clear brow gel just to kind of fluff them up a little bit and give a bit of like the hair look back to it because they can look a bit kind of like flat and like too structured for me anyways if I don't put a brow gel kind of through it. And then taking that concealer brush again, I'm just going in and just buffing out any leftover kind of concealer. So next is bronzing and I'm just going to do a cream bronzer today. I might set it with a little powder just because it is more of a summery look but usually I'll just kind of try and keep it as natural as possible. So for the cream bronzer I'm going in today with, I'm using my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. I'm just applying it like under the jawline, kind of temple area of course on the nose to contour but also to create like a little bronzed effect under the lip to make it look a bit more pouted chin to give it a bit of structure I feel like this could be used as either like a contour stick or a bronzer stick it's like a perfect tone for either and just using my flat top F80 Kabuki brush I'm just gonna blend it out Oh my god, we just look nice and bronzed. Oh yeah, going here. So before we like set that, like put any powders on our face, I'm just going to go in with the last cream product for today. And it's my Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline in the shade Light. I haven't used this baby in like a while. I haven't used it in so long. And I love it so much. I'm just going to apply it to the high points of my cheekbones. And maybe my nose as well. I feel like I'm like fighting against the sun here. Sorry, but it's getting a little bit dark, guys. But yeah, I'm gonna do my eyes first and then I think I'll finish off with the skin. So for this eye look, I think I'm gonna keep it pretty kind of summery and sunsetty. I don't know, I've been loving that kind of sunset feel lately. I've been doing a lot, I know. But I just love it so much, especially for like a soft little bit of flush on the eyes. So for the crease colour, I'm going to take um the shade Butter Cupcake from my Sugar Pill um, collection. It's just You can get this in the single eyeshadow form. I just have it in a palette. I'm going to apply this through the crease with just a fluffy brush. I don't really want to bring this eyeshadow look in too far. I'm kind of focusing it out here. I don't think we'll have much towards the inner part of the eye. Just a little wash of yellow. Nothing too crazy. Well, like kind of like an in-between shade, I'm going in with this light orange shade from my Morphe palette and placing that just under the yellow. Just using the same fluffy brush as before, so it still has a bit of that yellow on it, so it's just going to help those two colours melt into each other. Then I'm taking Flame Point from my Sugar Peel Light Quad and placing that just underneath that light orange shade. And I'm going in with a bit more of like a petite brush, so it has more focus to the application of the eyeshadow and I'm bringing it more more so onto the lid now rather than through the crease so it's kind of the outer corner colour I'm literally just washing it on it doesn't need to be too pigmented because it is kind of like a soft eyeshadow look so really just kind of washing it on so it looks more like a 
effortless kind of naturalish look I guess rather than a really put together structured eyeshadow look and then finally I'm taking this Coralie shade from my Morphe palette and on that same like petite brush I'm just going to pack that on right kind of on the lid area next to the orange shade I'm just kind of washing whatever's left towards the inner corner but I'm also fixing it on the outer and then grabbing some flame point and just bringing that back on the outer portion of the eyelid and taking some of that light orange shade and finally some of it was a bit much some of butter cupcake just a little bit and just bringing some of that yellow back just so it's a really soft sunset look oh it's so pretty and that is it for like the eyeshadows basically I don't know if I'll do a highlight shade I think I kind of I'll think about it but for now I'm just gonna go in with my Infinite Liquid Liner from uh, Milani. I'm just going to do a really, really thin kind of line along the lash line to give a bit of definition. And I might even do like a tiny itty bitty wing. I swear when I imagine my wings, they always look a little bit smaller than what they come out as because they just keep screwing up. <laughs> but you know, they'll do, they'll do. So I'm literally just going to place on some mascara and I'll put on a nude through my waterline because I'm keeping it super simple today guys. No lashes, just the simple natural kind of feel to the look. And then that nude just really open up the eyes, like it just makes your eyes look so much more awake. And you know what I kind of want to do? I'm just going to really kind of softly smudge a tiny bit of that yellow and light orange just on the outer corner of the eye. Just ever so softly. And then I'll just go in lightly with a bit of mascara for my bottom lashes. Nothing too crazy because it is such a soft bottom lash line. So to finish off the cheeks, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. And I'm taking my Barbados Babe bronzer from Missalin. And just softly applying that. Just really, really softly. Because we've already got that cream bronzer down. This is more so to set, set it in place and really create any kind of coverage or kind of colour to the skin. It's just basically to set it. So finally, the last thing I'm going to do for the face is the highlighter. I always just like a bit of glow to the skin. So first of all, I've got kind of a trick on making it really dewy. I first of all go in with my Violet Voss Highlighting Trio and I take the shade Moon Gleam. And I just applied it to my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. And of course, I just love a bit on the cupid's bow. And then to give it the dewiness, that actually is skin rather than like a fake glow on your face. I take my Kevin Aquan um, Diamond Eye Gloss. And it's so good, I love this stuff. And I use it on the highlight area to give it a bit more of a wet look rather than just that powder highlight. And I just apply it to the cheeks. And the bridge... I actually literally just go ham with this stuff. Even if I haven't applied highlight, like I didn't apply any to my brow bone, I like to go in with this diamond eye gloss just to kind of give it more of a wet look to the skin. That's just how I kind of create my fake glowy skin with my kind of oily skin tips. I mean, you guys can totally do more of this look if you want. You can go in with a lip gloss or, you know, put a bit of um, colour to the cheeks, like a bit of a corally blush but I just like to do this for a very soft everyday natural look and for like a little brow bone highlight I'm going to go in and take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and apply that on my brow bones just because I want a bit of something extra I want a bit of a glow there I just love having a brow bone highlight this is optional guys for you guys if you don't want to wear it for an everyday look you don't have to and because it is more of like an everyday look I don't usually go in with like a lip gloss so I'll just take my Blistex um, lip conditioner because it gives me a bit of glowy lips as well like and it makes all this just feel so much nicer than having them dry and cracked and voila this is the finished look so this concludes today's makeup look guys i really hope you enjoyed it got a few tips and tricks out of it i absolutely love this is like an everyday summer look Sorry about the lighting, I know it is a little bit dark. I hope you guys can bear with me and just push on through it. Um, but yeah, if you guys did like it, please give it a big thumbs up for me. 
I am currently away. I'm traveling overseas. So I'll be definitely wearing this look while I'm there because it's summer over here. Oh, over there, sorry. But if you guys would like to follow me on my travels, I'll be posting on my social medias. So here they are if you'd like to follow them. Otherwise, guys, make sure to give a big thumbs up before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day. I love you all so, so much. Bye, guys.